You know, it seems like everywhere we go in Utah, we find those petroglyphs, and this is no exception. Hello, everybody. Welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm Kevin Mortensen. And I'm Gina Morton. And look, we brought Hannah with us today, and we are just outside of Enterprise. Enterprise, which I've never been to, and I've mistakenly called it other names. <laughs> but we are, we are on a guided ride with the Tri-State ATV Club today, and we're being led by the mayor of Enterprise, Buck Humphreys, yes. who grew up in this area. He's a rancher, and so he knows this area like the back of his hand. So we've stopped here today at Nephi Springs to check out these petroglyphs, and we're having a great time. Aren't you having fun? Yeah. She's missing school. She's going to have a great day. Well, what I hear is that today we're going to see a lot of really cool things. Everything from the rocks in the springs up to ponderosa pines. I can't wait to see the ponderosa pines. That's called Pine Park. I think that's where we're headed. Pine Park, and we're going to head there today. We're, it, you know what? Let's, let's get out and check out what's going on on the ride today. We're having a great, we're going to bring you a great show. Stay tuned. This area is, is one of the rides that we include in the Tri-State uh, ATV Jamboree. It's called Stud Horse Draw and we come from Hurricane and we unload up above Enterprise. It's about a 40 mile loop. This route is on the forest rather than on BLM route. We have five permitted rides on the forest. It, they are higher and it is colder. And it is rides that most likely people that have been on the Jamboree several times have not taken before. We like to keep adding and subtracting and changing our rides so that we have reasons and purposes for people to come back to our Jamboree every year. Weather's been beautiful down here. We've seen uh, great looking country. We've been in the willows, we've been in the sagebrush, and now we're in the big beautiful uh, ponderosa pine trees. My best part of the rides right here are these white rocks and then these big pines. It's not something you normally see down here in southern Utah. Down in Nephi, you know that Nephi spring? Um, I've been going there my whole life um, with the cattle and, and things. I, I just grew up here in this area. Um, you know, herding cattle from most of all these places we've been. It's where I, where I gather and move cattle all year long. As a kid, this was kind of our, this was kind of our backyard, so to speak. Um, my wife is actually from Enterprise, so I've spent a little bit of time here in Pine Park. Beautiful scenery. You kind of go from one extreme to the next in about a half a mile to a mile. You go from a desert landscape into a into almost an upper mountain landscape within a short period. It's a beautiful place for people to come. We invite people to come and respect our country and, and to enjoy it the same way that we do. One of the good things about this area is it's pretty remote. You know, we haven't seen anybody else, else out here today, so it's, it's pretty remote. Uh, we've seen a lot of different things. We've seen pinion and junipers. We saw some petroglyphs. There's a lot of, there's a lot of geology out here if you like to look at that kind of stuff. This has been a beautiful ride. The weather's perfect. It's just been great. A little dusty, but the things you get to see out here, we saw some petroglyphs and um, the rocks out here. I'm not even sure what they call them. These white rocks are just very interesting. So it's a great ride to be on. having a great time out here with the Tri-State ATV Club. They're great hosts and our guide today, well our driver, Brad Carey, has done a remarkable job. Brad, look what you did. Put our teenager to sleep. She is asleep. She did not miss school to sleep all day. No, we need to wake her up and we're going to go see some more. We're going to send you guys off to this week's Where To. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. You know what, you can always tell the quality of a town by the quality of its infrastructure and the quality of life it provides its citizens. We're here at a new park that Enterprise is very proud of and they should be proud of it. This is a phenomenal park. It has everything from a, a community center, it looks like you can rent with a kitchen, to a climbing wall. And look, the girls are on a swing and really everything that you need for your family. 
enterprise, you've got a beautiful town. You've got some great stuff here. Let's go hear what your mayor has to say about it. Enterprise is kind of the last place that you can stop and get gas to get a drink, um, to get something to eat before you come to this area. Um, and once you get here, you want to be prepared for that because you're kind of in the middle of nowhere. There's no place else to go from here. We do have a small hotel that's there. Um, it's called Lee Station that's right there on the outside of town. We do have a couple of gas stations in town. We have a hardware store. Uh, we have a family dollar. We have a, a small medical clinic there that has a, a PA. And we do have a small grocery store that, that has most of the necessities that you need. So if, if you need it and it's essential, you can find it there for the most part. There's a historic part there that has some um, mining artifacts and stuff of the history of Enterprise. Originally, the history of, of this area being settled obviously started there in Old Hebron. That was the main, kind of the main stage stop. And then Terry's Ranch was the next stage stop on its way to Tempomac and Pioch, Nevada. The history that's there at Terry's Ranch is pretty incredible. That's as well preserved as it is. It, it still feels like you can see a stagecoach pulling out of the old stagecoach barn and, and it feel, gives you kind of that feel. You you're very limited cell service when you get to those locations and, and uh, very little urbanization. Um, kind of gives you the feel like you're going back into the old west at that point. We like it. It's a, it's a, part, of, it's a part of the area that not very many of those places exist anymore. You know when we go to a town we always ask the locals where's the best places to hang out, where's the best places to eat. And, few people told us to try this, the cafe right on Main Street. And you know, it's not disappointing. I'm looking at your steak. I want to cut into it right now. Can I just... There's a lot of cattle ranches around here, and I guess that is I'm local sorry. beef. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that this thing looks pretty amazing. Cut over at Carter's Market. Carter's Market. Specifically for this restaurant, the cafe, you guys. So and look... I'm going to stop talking and... <laughs> yeah, when you come to Enterprise, and don't do, do yourself a favor and do them a favor and stop and grab something to eat. Yeah. You go ahead and talk, and I'm going to eat. We're going to eat. You guys go check out this week's Along the Way. Well, welcome back to At Your Leisure. We've had a, a super fun day today riding out here in southeastern, southwestern Utah and seeing some sights, some stuff that we haven't seen before. And we're here right now with the mayor of Enterprise, Buck Humphreys. But tell us about the area. Tell us about the trail that we went on. Give us just a little bit. If, if somebody wants to come here, what do they need to know? So from Cedar City, you can turn west on Highway 56. It's about 45 miles to Enterprise. And if you're in St. George, you can turn north on Highway 18 and go about 45 miles north on U18. It will bring you to Enterprise. Follow the signs. You can't get lost on either one of those two roads. Once you get to Enterprise, you turn west on the oil, only oiled road that leads to this location. There's no turns off of it, so you can't get lost. Just follow the oiled road. I don't even know how many miles it is. It's about 15 miles or so west of Enterprise, and we're here at Terry's Ranch. You get to Terry's Ranch. Now, we're parked right next to the old stagecoach stop, right? That's correct. And, and a lot of history. Go check it out and come out here. You know, the one thing I, I can tell you, if you want to come out here and try this, any machine's going to do it. It's, a, it's an easy ride with a lot of history and a lot of good, beautiful scenery that you've seen on the show today. Now, you have a beautiful town. Thanks for showing us around. And, you know, when you come to these small towns, remember to stop in town, buy something, get your gas and support the locals so that they can support you as you're out here riding around on the trails. Now, we're going to go see more of this great stuff you have around this, this area, and we're going to send our viewers off to look at next week's show. Next week, Chad and Rhea are venturing out to Nevada as they visit Adrenaline Mountain, which is an extreme entertainment complex, including off-roading, shooting, and you can even drive a monster truck. Then, we're heading out to Nine Mile Canyon with the Lone Peak 4x4 Club as our tour guide, Ben Mead, shows us the Nine Mile Ranch and all of the area's hidden secrets. Finally, Reese Stein is talking about the invasive and destructive quagga mussel. That's right, and he's meeting up with the Division of Wildlife Resources to discuss a new strategy to prevent the spread. Next week's show looks great. It does. You're not going to want to miss it. And listen, we've had a great ride out here today. I want to thank a few people. First, I want to thank Brad Carey for taking us for a ride on that great machine and for being such a great host with us today. We also want to thank the Tri-State ATV Club. Listen, I want to put a plug in for them. If you want to get into ATV and or you want to be a part of the, of the sport, you really need to join a club. And if you're anywhere near St. George in the southeastern part of the state, excuse me, southwestern part of the state, 
call them up, join the club. They go on club rides. And if you want to see this ride that we've done today, you want to go on it, it's a part of their jamboree. When do they Next hold that? Next year in March. In March. It's also going to be uploaded onto our website, www.outsiders.zone. And you can ride it virtually and see the GPS tracks and come and enjoy it yourself. Enterprise, what a great place. Wonderful town. It's a great town. The people here are friendly. They want you to come, but remember to take care of things when you come. Shop when you get here and, you know, don't do donuts in the parking lot. Pick up your tracks. Just eat donuts. Don't do donuts. And remember, when you're out checking out Utah, there's adventure around every bend. You just have to get out there and create it yourself. At, at your, your leisure. leisure.